guys, I'm doing my first ever acoustic guitar review. This is the Donner DAJ110C acoustic guitar. I just got this on Amazon for 159 bucks. And if you've seen my previous videos, you already know that I reviewed one of their electric guitars. It's the Les Paul style, the DLP-124B. And basically, I was so impressed with that guitar and the workmanship and the craftsmanship on it and the quality and at such an affordable price, I decided to give one of their acoustic guitars a try. And I'm really glad I did because I actually really like this guitar. It plays good, it sounds good, it looks great, and the price is right. So the guitar has a spruce top and the sides and the back are made of mahogany and the neck is mahogany and it's really lightweight and actually the neck is heavier than the body so if I let go of it, it automatically goes that way because of the neck being heavier and I don't know if that's due to the tuners or what but I can tell you that like the wood on the top and the body, it feels really thin and really light and that's not a knock on the quality, I'm just saying it's really lightweight. When you look at the sides and the back, you can see the absolutely beautiful mahogany wood grain and they did a fantastic job on the finish and the staining and it just, it looks wonderful. And it also sounds really good. It gets a really full, warm, deep sound. Now the fretboard, I'm not really sure what that wood is because on the website, it says the fretboard is Purple Heart. Is that a kind of wood? Maybe somebody out there watching knows that, yeah, that's a kind of wood that they use for fretboards. I don't know, I've never heard of that before, but anyway, Purple Heart. But it's fine. It's dark. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. It sounds good, it plays good. The nut is a bone nut. They did a really good job on the nut. It's at the right height. The strings are good. Sometimes when I've gotten these budget guitars, there's been some like oxidation on the frets and on the strings and I immediately have to take the strings off and shine all the frets up with um, steel wool. I didn't have to do that this time. Not necessary at all. There's no oxidation, the frets are shiny, the strings are bright and clear. So I don't think this guitar has been like sitting around in the warehouse for months and months like maybe some of the others have. Another feature that's really cool on this is it's got the cutaway up here and it's got these black metal tuners and I'm kind of not used to seeing that on acoustics, or maybe I just haven't seen a lot of acoustics, but it seems like the acoustics usually have like chrome color or gold or even plastic tuners. So these are black metal and they look really cool and it matches the color of the headstock, which is also painted black. And then you can see on each tuner, it's got the logo, just like on the electric guitar that I got. The frets are in good shape. The intonation is good, the action is good. I put my fret level all along the fretboard to see if the neck is perfectly straight, and it is. It's perfectly straight. I didn't have to do any adjusting to the truss rod. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the guitar. You can see it's really beautiful, and the back of the neck as well, and the back of the headstock, and the sides of the body and then a close-up of the top. It's all very nice. In addition to the guitar, you also get this really nice gig bag. I mean, it's actually got padding in it. It's not just like the thin little dust cover that a lot of guitars come with. It's got the pocket here. It's got the straps on the back for you to strap it to your back. You get a good quality strap, an extra set of strings, a cleaning cloth, a capo and four picks, a clip-on tuner, this is a pick guard that's basically a sticker. You peel off the sticker and then you can stick it onto the body of the guitar if you want a pick guard. I'm not going to use it though. And of course it comes with the Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod if you need to. And all that stuff came in this cool little bag that says Donner on it. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and play it, um, but I'm going to play it just like this recorded into the camera mic. No fancy amplifiers or effects or anything, just the regular mic that I'm talking into. So you can really hear how it sounds just normal.
guys, so there you have it, the Donner DAJ110C. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.